Amazon ending hero pay in Canada slashing hourly wages and cutting double overtime pay despite coronavirus outbreaks. Like every other company, they realized they have workers by the balls because unemployment is so high. When this first started they had trouble filling positions. Now they're probably flooded with applications. So why pay more when another drone will just take their place? In Croatia, the government at first was like we are extremely grateful to all medical workers taking this great sacrifice in these hard times and now my mom who is a nurse told me she's not even receiving a bonus she was supposed to receive every 10 years of service. Not much money, but really shows how much they're grateful. People are cunts. This is why we need to support our local economies. Bezos doesn't need to look at his employees in the eyes. As an Amazon employee I think so long as we have to wear masks we should get our extra pay. I got lucky they extended our pay at my FC in Oregon through the end of the month but we also had a confirmed case at our FC. Farm Boy, a grocery chain, is doing similar thing in Ottawa. I fucking hate that word, hero pay. It sounds like a marketing hotshot came up with that word. Let's increase min wage temporarily. Great, what do we call it? Min wage increase. No, if we do that, then they'll expect it to last plus we want to have something fun that creates the illusion that we're actually recognizing them for something. How about? Freedom pay. No, wait, even better. Hero pay. Chaz, you're a goddamn genius. Let's do it, seriously, though. Stop calling us heroes. People who join the military and save lives are heroes. Doctors who do open heart surgery are heroes. I'm a dude who stocks shelves as he tries to start a career in film. I didn't sign up to sacrifice myself or save anyone's lives. And I'll admit, when I started hearing people call us heroes I started feeling something, until I realized that this message was taken and exploited by people who don't give a shit about me. They just want me to go back to working in unsafe conditions so they spin it and say I should be proud to serve my country instead of questioning why I'm in this shitty position to begin with. People pursuing meaningful careers should be able to do so with dignity. They shouldn't have to eat dirt every day. I mean imagine all that untapped potential going to waste in a job that makes someone a killing while giving you a decent check to drown yourself in drugs and shopping to forget about the fact that you lack any sense of purpose. How many millions of Americans could have gone off to start that great new idea but because of the system, it was just too economically challenging to do so. What opportunities have we missed out on because the higher ups want us to get into something that serves the limited interests of the banking or political elite instead of doing something different that could positively change lives? We may never know or experience what that's really like. Such a terrifying reality we live in. Jeff Bezos read a news article that said he could be the world's first trillionaire by 2026 and decided it needed to be delivered sooner. ITT, I've been boycotting Amazon for years. No you haven't. Reddit is hosted on AWS. So is Netflix and Facebook and Twitch and about a quarter of the world's internet. If you think Amazon is a retail company you are clueless. Removed. Every time another new thing comes out about Amazon and how shitty Bezos is as a person I say that we need to stop supporting them, and without fail there are more responses from people saying essentially they don't care because they can get stuff cheaper on Amazon. I've pretty much given up at this point. Not surprising. Most companies and grocers here in the U.S. are or have ended $2 HR hazard pay. Mine ended yesterday in Michigan despite us still being under stay at home until May 28th. Happy for the extra $650 I made the past two months, though, 40 HR work weeks. The virus has been largely contained in northern Michigan. This was always planned as a temporary program that they budgeted one month for. The pandemic is going on longer than expected. You shit on Amazon but there should be a better protection for workers' rights as they are allowed to do this. My mate just got a job with Twitch working at home here in Denmark. He was contacted by some Danish workers' rights organization out of the blue saying they would take over wage negotiations on his behalf if he'd like because Amazon are renowned cunts.
I think they worked out an extra dollar seven USD an hour. After seven deaths out of 900k employees maybe they realized it's safer to work at Amazon than to merely exist anywhere else. Still plenty of reasons those folks should make more money, but it's not because they're heroes. Hey, it's better than my company. We didn't close because apparently selling paint is an essential service, we get no hazard pay, and hours are beginning to get cut back. Thankfully it's management on down, but I spent the last two months risking my health for no benefit outside of my usual pittance. One of the issues when you do these sorts of hero pay things is that there will be anger when they end, no matter when they end. I'm not saying this is a good decision on the part of Amazon, but they could have ended it a year from now and there would be griping. Corporations can be rough towards their workers, but most of us know that there is a sizable minority subset of our colleagues that will never be satisfied with any gesture. Because in Canada things are opening and businesses are allowed to return to some level of normalcy. Was hero pay and double overtime ever going to be permanent? Amazon ramped up to meet demands similar to what they do at Black Friday slash Christmas. Now that things are loosening, why would they continue? I love how clickbait this title is written. Slashing hourly wages and cutting double overtime pay lol. What a garbage article too. Public's hazard pay was. 25 cents extra and no one saying anything about it? It's so wrong. If you want Amazon slash Bezos to fail, stop buying shit off his site. The end. It was gonna happen eventually. Our company lasted three weeks with their hero pay. Amazon do you breathe with your mouth open or closed? Applicant well I. Amazon doesn't matter. You're hired. What does the headline mean with despite coronavirus outbreak? Of course it's in times of crisis you cut back on spending for individuals as well as companies. The insane thing to do would be to spend more when you earn less money. Makes sense. Everything is open again now so no reason for the extra pay since everyone is back at work. Isn't the son owned by Rupert Murdoch who is a raging Trump supporter and therefore also anti-Amazon and anti-Bezos? We have a real source instead of this conservative rag. How long does everyone realistically expect him to keep up that extra pay? Businesses are beginning to reopen and coronavirus is t going anywhere for a long time. Should he be required to continue his hero pay when life has gone back to semi-normal and businesses and workplaces are opened back up? What he did was a good thing but it has to come to an end sometime. Slash r slash fuck Jeff Bezos. This infuriates me to the core, what a piece of shit. Yet Bill Gates the one donating 90% of his wealth to charity is the devil right? God I hate stupid people. So they are going back to their original pay scale. I'm not really seeing the outrage honestly. I know everyone is in fuck Amazon mode right now, but these pay increases were always going to be temporary. The provinces are starting to open back up again, so it makes sense that these pay bumps would also be phased out at this point. The hero pay was a nice initiative even if in reality people should have been getting a living wage all along but it was always going to be awkward when they pulled it back. One of my worries is we will not take any lessons away from this. Amazon is still going to be a shut place to work, people will still order from them, government won't mandate safe working conditions or fair hours be if it's etc. Essential workers will be forgotten about.